Suppose that A, B, C, and D are all real numbers. Then we can build a right triangle whose leg lengths are given by the absolute value of B times the absolute value of C and the absolute value of A times the absolute value of C. If we assume that C is non-zero, then we can scale this triangle by the value absolute value of D over the absolute value of C, producing this triangle, which has leg lengths absolute value of B times absolute value of D and absolute value of A times absolute value of D. Because this new triangle is a scaled and rotated copy of the original right triangle, when the two triangles are placed side by side like this, they produce a right angle so that this pictured triangle is a right triangle as well. We can use the Pythagorean theorem on the original two right triangles to see that the leg lengths of this new right triangle are the absolute value of D times the square root of A squared plus B squared and the absolute value of C times the square root of A squared plus B squared. Because this new triangle is also right angled, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse to be the square root of A squared plus B squared times the square root of C squared plus D squared. But now we know that the absolute value of AC plus BD is less than or equal to the absolute value of A times C plus the absolute value of B times D from the triangle inequality. On the other hand, from this trapezoidal shape, we see that the base length, which is the absolute value of A times C plus the absolute value of B times D, must be less than or equal to the length of the hypotenuse of that top triangle, which is the square root of A squared plus B squared times the square root of C squared plus D squared. Therefore, the absolute value of AC plus BD is less than or equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared times the square root of C squared plus D squared, where A, B, C, and D are real numbers. This is often referred to as the two-variable Cauchy-Bunyakowski-Schwartz inequality. 